Hello, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 for Spanaway Lake High School. My name is Sarah Sunday, Assistant Principal. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege of introducing our honored dignitaries. Mr. Tom Siegel has served as the Bethel School District Superintendent since 2001. Before coming to Bethel, Mr. Siegel held a similar position in Boulder, Colorado. Prior to his work in public education, he served in the United States Navy for 25 years, completing his military career as a commander. Dr. Jennifer Bethman is the Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education. She has been in Bethel School District since the fall of 1991. Dr. Bethman earned her Master's of Educational Administration from City University and her doctorate degree from Washington State University. Next, I would like to introduce Bethel's Board of Directors. President Marcus Young has served on the board since May 2018. President Young received an Associate of Theology degree from A.L. Hardy Academy of Theology and a Doctorate of Divinity Honoris Causa from St. Thomas Christian University. Vice President Rosanna Camacho has served on the board since June 2018. Vice President Camacho has a Master's in Business Administration, a Bachelor of Science in Psychology, and a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, graduates, on all your accomplishments. Now, go out and make all your dreams come true. But please always remember that it's not about who gets there first, but rather, the journey is about creating meaningful relationships, respecting the diversity of other people, respecting diverse ideas, and lifting and elevating others along with you. Because the sweetest moments of the journey are being open to all the infinite possibilities and having others to share it with. Thank you and congratulations. Director John Manning has served on the board since December 2006. Director Manning is a graduate of University High School in Spokane, Washington, and is retired from the United States Air Force. Hello, class of 2020. I'm John Manning from the Bethel School Board, and I wanted to congratulate you on your graduation. I know this is not how you wanted to end your last year of school, but through hard work and perseverance, you've made it. So good luck and best wishes as you move forward with your future plans. Director Brenda Rogers has served on the board since November 2003. Director Rogers attended San Francisco State University and studied construction management. Mrs. Rogers is president of the Washington State School Directors Association. Graduates, I know these are times when you may have been ready to give up, but you didn't, and now you move on with your very special dreams for your future. With help, with pride, and indeed with love, I congratulate you. Go far and Godspeed. Director Claudine Henry Young has served on the board since March 2020. Director Henry Young has a Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies and is retired from the United States Army. Hello graduates, I am Director Claudine Henry Young. Congratulations on your graduation, class of 2020. It is a very difficult time in our world right now, and I thank you so much for your perseverance and example to all of us. Go forward and make a difference in the world. Change it to make it better for all of us, for our future generations. We look forward to see what you guys go out there and do in this world, and we thank you for being the example that you are. Now, I would like to introduce you to the administrative team at Spanaway Lake High School. Dr. Susie Askew has been an educator for 19 years and is in her second year as principal at Spanaway Lake. She is a national board certified teacher and has served as an administrator for the last seven years. She has her bachelor's and master's degrees from Occidental College in Los Angeles and her doctorate degree from the University of Washington. Michelle Scott Beach is in her eighth year as assistant principal at Spanaway Lake. She holds a bachelor degree in drama, master's degree in multicultural education, and a master's degree in educational administration, all from the Uni University of Washington. Hans Nelson is in his second year as assistant principal at Spanaway Lake. Mr. Nelson earned his bachelor's degree in music education from Pacific Lutheran University and holds a master's 
degree from Washington State University in Educational Leadership. As I stated earlier, I am Sarah Sunday and I'm in my third year as Assistant Principal at Spanaway Lake. I earned my bachelor's degree in secondary education and history from Northwest University and my master's degree in curriculum and design from Walden University. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our student speakers, senior class president, Tava Sachia Sok, valedictorian, Julie Hamm, and salutatorians, Diana Guillen Estrada and Mackenzie Ward. The fall of 2007 was the start of it all. It will be the first time in which we ambiguously make that big move in life, going to school. At that time, our young minds did not comprehend what would come out of it. All there were to us was doing basic math all day, reading, or playing in the gym or outside the playground. By the summer of 2013, the end of elementary, we realized that there was so much more, that this was the end of our first chapter. The fall of 2013, we entered junior high. As our world grew larger, we got to know more about who we were and who we wanted to be. We made more friends, gained more opportunities with the memories that came along with it. Some pursued the more athletic route, while others took through the arts or whatever the interest. Some were more optimistic than others, while others remained in their own bubble. Regardless of the path we all took, by the summer of 2016, we all knew what was going to happen. The end of another chapter, and eventually high school. High school is the final chapter to our first story. It would be the end of a journey we began over a decade ago. As different as we may have been with our aspirations and preferences, we all had that same goal, to graduate. So our minds were set for the challenge, our dreams came closer, and our friendships became stronger. We survived through many obstacles, especially these past few months. So therefore, class of 2020, we are the strongest class, and we are ready to claim our spots in this world. Congratulations, class of 2020, and good luck out there. And as for our final message, I would like to give my greatest appreciation to my family, my friends, my teachers, and the staff members at SLHS for always keeping me on track towards achieving my goals and dreams. You guys are amazing, thank you. I remember when someone described our class as the class of the guinea pigs. Thinking about it, there was always something new and different being thrown at us. To start, we were the first sixth graders in middle school. Many of us were nervous about this new and scary place, worrying that we would never find our classes in the maze of hallways. Then, all of a sudden, we got iPads with kids drop, airdropping and an interesting selection of images in the middle of class. As time progressed, we had to use learn to use these new devices as tools to better ourselves instead of as a way to block out our teachers and our problems. Eventually, it was decided that we would use the iPads for testing. Although a bunch of students tried to boycott state testing, we were still roped into doing it. But in the end, it helped us with completing work online, which has been unexpectedly helpful these last few months. As middle school progressed, many of us had moments where we thought that we would not survive to reach high school and that middle school would be the thing that beat us. Yet we overcame those feelings and succeeded in classes that we never expected to pass. Although it felt sli slightly like we were lab rats, the whole experience helped prepare us for the adversities that were yet to come in life. Then we moved on to high school. Contrary to the movies, it was full of stress and homework, and it wasn't as free as some might have pictured. Sure, compared to middle school, we had so much more freedom with our classes and appearance that it was pretty overwhelming but we were still pressured with a 24 credit requirement to graduate and a dress code that seemed to completely slip from our minds at times. There were times where high school just became too much to handle. Times where just ignoring school altogether felt the best, where you didn't care anymore about your grade, but somehow still had it in you to try and graduate. And then the arrival of Corona made it even more difficult as we were forced into online schooling, yet another new thing to adapt to. This pandemic put an abrupt halt to our high school timeline, causing several senior traditions and even graduation. Rightfully so, it devastated a lot of people. Our current situation has revealed darkness within communities, but it has also highlighted the importance of compassion and cooperation. Many people are frustrated and angry because of the effects that this pandemic has had, but whether or not you agree with their frustrations, it's important to respond with compassion and acknowledge that everyone has their own experiences and limits. You may face times where your frustration and anger get so out of hand that you hurt people you care about, your parents, your siblings, your friends. That's why it's important to have people who are willing to stay with you even in those times. I fight with my sisters at least twice a week, but there are still people that I can go to to laugh and have sappy emotional talks. None of, our, none of us have really been through something like this. We're the first modern generation to deal with this kind of threat. The challenges our situation brings, regardless of their magnitude, are new challenges nonetheless. Still, just because an obstacle is difficult, it doesn't mean you won't overcome it. Who knows, COVID may become insignificant compared to the challenges that you come across in the future. 
throughout my senior year, I've had several moments of stress, struggle, and embarrassment, but now that I'm graduating, those moments have become forgettable. As you progress to your next goal, whether it be finding more school, finding a job, going to the military, or just taking time off, it's important to recognize that there will be failure. College might be the first case where you flunk a test. Your job might be the first time you cry in public. After high school, it might be the first time you are truly on your own. Yet, as cliche as it is, the best thing you can do is try and improve from your mess ups. As a class, we have already had to deal with countless new experiences and standards. Your life will only be filled with even more difficult and unknown struggles. So remember to just use those setbacks as fuel to grow. And if it helps, know that pretty much everyone is struggling alongside you. Congratulations, class of 2020. What a dramatic end to your K-12 education. I would remind you that your journey to this point was not made alone. You have family, friends, teachers, and school staff, from custodians to kitchen staff to bus drivers, who have supported you on different portions of this journey. If we were together at the Tacoma Dome, this is where I would pause and give you a chance to scream and cheer and celebrate all these people who have been a part of your life. As your principal, I too mourn the loss of a traditional ceremony to provide a celebratory closure for our time together. I mourn the loss of three months of seeing you in our hallways, cafeteria, classrooms, and on the dance floor at prom, at spring sporting events, and school assemblies. My sadness is because of how proud I am of you. My pride and love for this class is strong. However, my respect has grown so much over the last three months. If there was ever a class that is ready to be persistent in this world, it is you. You have responded to a global pandemic, having to make decisions about school, jobs, and health not just your own health, but the health of those around you. If there is ever a class that is ready to prioritize the good of the collective over the individual, it is you. As the United States grapples with racial tension and deep conversations about social justice, privilege, and what matters in this world, you are the young people who I trust to be a part of this conversation and movement. You will be bold and speak your truth and learn how to talk to one another, even those you disagree with, because you value people and their stories. Your grace and compassion will serve you well as you enter the next phase of your life's journey. I send you off with this reminder that all those who have supported you to this moment continue to be here for you, and we expect you to be brave and bold as you live your adult lives. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff of Spanaway Lake High School, we are so very proud of you, and we wish you many, many blessings. Congratulations. To the amazing, resilient graduates of 2020, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I want to extend to you our congratulations and personally let you know that we are extremely proud of you. We are proud of your endurance to stick with your goals of graduating in spite of every obstacle that you faced pre and post COVID-19 virus. We, pr we are proud of your focus to not allow distractions to impede and detour you from this moment. We are proud of your pride that you had to say I want to celebrate my accomplishments and the accomplishments of my peers, and regardless of what this graduation process looks like, I want to have it. And we're proud of your example, your example on how to handle yourselves when a pandemic comes and interrupts the foundational norm of education during what is supposed to be the happiest and most exciting and mem memorable time of your life. And while there was no blueprint, you, the graduates of 2020, have laid the roadmap on how to hold your heads up high and be able to adjust with dignity and pride, and we thank you for that. It was just last year I sat at graduation, and while sitting there on the stage and listening to my colleague address the class of 2019, I thought to myself, God, if you allow me the opportunity 
to impart into these young men and women, what would I say? While sitting there, I clearly heard, you have the ability and the power to outlive what statistics say about you. How much more fitting is that than right now? You see, the moment you were born, there was a number on your head, and every factor in life plays a significant role in that number. The year you were born, the time you were born, the color of your skin, your height, your weight. Your parents play a part in that number. Were they married or not? Were you raised by two parents? Or maybe you were raised in a single home. Were you raised by your mother? Or was it your father? Or might have been your grandparents or someone else? There are so many factors that you had no direct influence over, but they all calculated to create a picture of who you are or who you might become. And I wanna empower you on today and let you know that that statistic, whether good or bad, does not have to define who you are, but you have the ability to define it. You see, I was born into poverty. My mother and father were 15 when they had me. I was born in the streets of Hilltop, Tacoma, and statistics alone put me behind the proverbial eight ball. As I grew up, gangs began to infest my neighborhood. And statistics said that because of this environment, there was a strong chance that I would turn out to be a gang member. I faced some of the same statistics that you have had to face. Will I graduate? Will I become a teenage parent? Will I graduate from college? Or will I drop out? Will I be successful? Will I make it out of this situation? Or will I become a product of my environment? You see, these are all predetermined numbers that attach themselves to me without my permission or knowledge. But they were also numbers that I worked hard to outlive. And I want to encourage you because the same way that I took authority and power over my future, you have the ability to do the same. No, we may not dot every I and we may not cross every T. No, we may not have beat every statistic that attached itself to us. We may have failed some things and made some wrong choices, and there may be some things that we wish we could have done another way. But to every graduate and every other person that's listening to me on today, the fact that you are still here, the fact that you are still breathing, and the fact that you are still standing means that you have outlived those statistics. And so I challenge you, I challenge you to refuse to let what people say and think about you stop you from accomplishing your dreams and aspirations. I challenge you to refuse to allow statisticians that have linked this graduating class to their environment rather than their accomplishments limit who you are and who you will become. I challenge you to kick down the door of limitations and let the world know what you have to offer. Block out the voices of doubt and only lend your ear to those of success. Be the generation that demands change, that speaks up and says the status quo is no longer acceptable. Be that group of young, brilliant minds who band together and challenge leadership to stop checking off boxes and implement true change. Let our leaders know that doing the same thing and expecting a different result is still insanity. And so, as I close, in the words of Les Brown, I leave you with this. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, if you simply go after that thing that you want with all your capacity, strength, and sagacity, faith, hope, and confidence, and stern pertinacity, then neither cold, poverty, famine, nor gout, sickness, nor pain, or body and brain will be able to keep you away from the thing that you want. Thank you. As superintendent, it is my duty and personal privilege to certify that these graduates have met the graduation requirements of the State of Washington and the Bethel School District 
and I am proud to present Spenaway Lake High School's graduating class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Bethel School District, I congratulate you for having achieved a major goal and milestone in your lives. We wish you well as you move on now to the future and its promise of new challenges and accomplishments. As President of the Board of Directors, it is indeed an honor to accept the graduating class of 2020.
Hey there seniors, it's Mrs. Gomez and baby Michaela. I just want to take a quick second and say how proud we are of you and the dedication you've shown to your education over the last four years, especially here in this last term at Spanaway Lake. We're so proud of you. Congratulations and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Congratulations seniors, tough way to end it, but I beg you to be bold, be adventurous, and be passionate in your next journey. Um, I'm proud of you and I'm always rooting for you. Congratulations seniors. I wanted to remind you and to encourage you that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. And remember the best is yet to come. Peace and blessings. To the class of 2020, I offer you the story. An old man was walking along the beach one evening when he saw a child picking up debris from the beach and throwing it into the ocean. The child told the old man that he is picking up starfish because if he does not throw them back into the ocean, they will die. The old man told the child, Child, there are way too many starfish than you can ever save. You cannot make a difference. At that point, the child bent over, picked up a starfish, and threw it into the ocean and said, I just made a difference in that one's life. Class of 2020, be the difference. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I just wanted to say that we are extremely proud of you guys. We wish you the best of luck in this new adventure ahead of you. Congratulations, 2020 seniors. I want to um, say a special message because this is a unique year for a lot of you. Obviously, we will not get to see you as much as we wanted to at the end of the year as we wanted as teachers. But I want you to remember always, always, you have been many, many places and you are going to go to lots and lots of places in this world and do great things. Don't let this um, deter you. You'll be great at what you do in the world and congratulations, class of 2020. I wish I was there to hug you and dap you up, uh, but I love you no less. I'm so proud of you, sway forever. <laughs>